is our prototype called Hydraulic Maze Board Game. But how does it really work? So first, let's talk about the holes we put in our maze board game. The purpose of each hose is to serve as a trap in case the direction is. And if the syringe is wrong, the marbles will fall into these holes. And it has a placement beneath the holes that we we'll talk about later. This hydraulic maze board game can be played by 2 or 4 players to control the syringe. In this video, you can see that there is one player who played this alone. But if there are 2 players, he or she will control 2 syringe and if 4 players are as obvious, each player will only hold 1 syringe. view we can see the starting point and the finish line and now let's take a look that the player was a beginner to try our hydraulic maze board game we have two types of syringe put in here the syringe a that acts as a plunger so that the liquids inside can move and it can control the rise and fall of the cardboard so that the marble can also move inside the maze on the other hand, syringe B which acts as standy of the entire maze board game and this is also the reason for the rise and fall of the cardboard in response to syringe A. As you can see the marble was trapped. And now we will try again. Syringe A and syringe B are connected by a silicon fishing hose through which the liquid inside flows so that it can flow from syringe A to syringe B. Each of the syringe has its own colors, red, orange, green, and violet. The containers of the marble are at the bottom of our cardboard in case that the marble will fall into the trap holes so that the marble will still fall in a proper place and we can retrieve it by pulling off the door like marble casting boxes. we can see that the player was close to the finish line. That's all, the player got finished our game.